Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow it's going to get, the high is going to be 8 degrees. Oh, but this geez. wind is 32 degrees below zero. Yeah. You know, 32 to 35 below zero. Yeah. And you don't want to be caught in that. Yeah. Frostbite, nose, fingertips. Sure. They came over to us and they said, you know, if you want, we have like a big gymnasium. Oh, really? <laughs> We're cooking dinner. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You guys can sleep in the inside. It's warm. Okay. It's dry. Uh -huh. And they said, just come on over. And we have space for like 150 veterans. Oh, okay. And they just, they, they, and this is it. This is a small town yeah. near where the protest was going on. This, and this community of this town has invited us to come in and stay in their recreation center. Wow. <laughs>
buying something and then I touch the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, try and put them away, either in your tent or in your vehicle, um, because again, we're going to start cleaning in here, and summer in here, we're just going to assume their donations. Driving these conditions, I do recommend uh, snow tires are do not come in uh, your tires being like almost bald. Or <laughs> I do advise people to uh, bring uh, face masks, gloves, scarves, and these these winds are brutal, and you can get frostbites from it. And they they, they do provide uh, hand warmers, toe warmers. Warmers and they do they do those help a lot. Okay. The kitchens at the camp are constantly cooking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, they, they're cooking. Yeah, okay. They're cooking. Okay. There's, there's there's several kitchens, several big kitchens on camp, so they feed they do feed a lot of people. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. it is. We do try to welcome uh, tribes from the southwest. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But we do also welcome people who do need a stay place to stay, a warm place to stay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, how about for? Non-native people, uh, wh where do they go to? Uh, which no, they go anywhere. anywhere. Pe everyone invites anybody. Okay, yeah. all right. So everyone is welcome. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then the elders really do strictly uh, propose that there's no drugs, alcohol, with inside camp. Okay. As you go inside camp, they do have their own security and they do check. Oh, they do check. Yeah, they do okay, check. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Alcohol. Right. Okay. Yeah, just be ready for winter. Okay. <clears throat> bring warm clothes and bring your prayers. Come in peace. Then come and join us in solidarity. Uh, uh. I know some people who have like, uh, from what I've seen, they're like Mr. Eaters or whatever. They hook up the propane takes to that and they warm up the tents with them. Uh -huh. Or they uh, they cook with them too. We got community kitchens up there. So, yes. so people should bring their... Generators, propane, anything to keep the wind off. You want to make sure you have tarps. You want to make sure that if you are willing, like if you can't get up here in the casino or anywhere close, uh, you want to make sure that your tent or camper is definitely winter ready, because mm -hmm. it's it's mostly those winds that's really the damage, you know. Because those winds get really high, and there's nothing blocking those winds from you. Uh, my friend and I um, are hoping to either make monthly trips here to donate and like drive down, donate, drive back home because it's really complicated with work and trying to get the days off and coming in support and everything like that. Our tribal chairman is very supportive. He is letting us do the without pay and everything. For I have never felt more welcomed in a camp in a really long time, like even just like a family camp or something, these people welcomed us with open arms, they opened up their kitchen for us, everybody is friendly. Where, where are you from? Peru. Oh, Pe Peru, yeah. oh, okay. Okay. I don't know if they were international, but like a lot of people in the camp were international. Really? Yeah, okay. from all over the world. Yeah. What, what, what nationalities are you from? Europeans, uh, South American, okay. Latin American, Asian, everything. Oh, okay.
first pipe in this tank. Okay. This was so small and so flimsy, and then I survived the next night by myself in that one. Uh -huh. Which was when the blizzard came, and it was, you know, the tent was just collapsing over and over. People were just abandoning their tents and leaving everything and, and fleeing and getting out of here when the temperature dropped. Uh huh, yeah. And, uh, I made it through the night, but in the morning it was so cold. I didn't want to bring my suitcase. My, my suitcase was in there. Now that's gone. And my cameras, two camera bags. I just abandoned all that in the morning just to get to the dome because if I didn't go straight there. I didn't want to be carrying things. Uh -huh. It was too cold. I was. I barely survived walking to the dome to get warm. haven't had like some events in your life throw you into a position where you had no control and you had to build some character yeah. and learn how to like survive crucial yeah. Ooh, man this was a real rude awakening oh god <laughs> to <laughs> say the least <laughs> yeah. when the uh, going gets rough the tough get going you've got to like be willing to get in it yeah. to win it in those those moments because Certain things are like critical to get done for the survival or like morale of everybody. Right. Useful. For uh, pontoon bridges you know, on these floating barrels, and they use those to haul. There's a rope here that goes across the river. They can haul that pontoon bridge across the river as, a, according to Thor, an emergency evacuation plan in case we had to get out of here, get across the river quickly without going all the way to the bridges. But I saw them also using it during the, some of the uh, protests when they were uh, approaching the DAPL security. They used that to get across the river to the to confront the security forces. Uh, yeah. The helicopter is that? Yeah. What? The helicopter, is it? Uh, I don't know, I think they just come over. No, I think that's theirs. I think it just comes over to survey and intimidate, maybe. Uh -huh. uh, just. Uh, get a good look at what's going on and seeing it, maybe getting a head count, seeing how many people left, how many people still here.
guy that was throwing the cars. If you cross that line and they are there, they will arrest you. We can't focus on the people who go on the bridge right now. We gotta focus on the people that are in the camp, that are here, that are, that are, that are trying to survive that storm that's coming. And so our resources are all pretty much being put into making sure this camp is good and, and ready to go for, the, for, this, for this winter that's coming and the storm that's coming. Right now, every, everything, all our workers, every able man that I know and I can think of is out doing something, pre preparing for the winter, helping people. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta be careful. And, and if it looks like we killed a, a goose in here, <laughs> all the feathers. Yeah. One of the cots was a little too close to the fire. Somebody leaned over with their little rump and got a little too close and started wow. almost on fire. <laughs> this is a nice little setup you guys have. So. Yeah, we just gotta clean it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. It looks crazy because of the goose feathers. But those it was goose warm. Feathers? I thought those were ice. That's, that's no. goose feathers. Where, 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 where is it? Can you point to it? To? All those white. From a sleeping bag. A down sleeping bag. Oh. But these zero degrees sleeping bags, down sleeping bags work great. The mummy ones, if you just zip up, stay in there. You're fine. Yeah, you're good. The, the porter potties are being pulled because they're freezing. Um, they're moving all the compost. Yeah, to the compost, yeah, yeah. exactly. So and then, did you see that semi truck that came in, bro? Yeah. Flatbed, full of like trees. Wow. Bro, what? full, flatbed. Right. So, right. But that's really good pine. Yeah. It burns really slow, but yeah. I don't I don't know where exactly where I want to locate because they're over there cutting them up okay. in sections, yeah. but yeah. we'll have to So if them. you know anybody around here with a sled kind of thing, you guys should have seen what I was doing last night. I got a sleeping bag. I walked clear across camp over there, filled it up full of uh, firewood in the middle of the night and dragged it all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> a yurt dedicated to acupuncture there are a couple it's a 
It's a, a kind of a hospitality center too. It's not just a clinic. People sit around and get warm. This is Yeah, it's a little different, but everybody's opening their arms in any direction they can, mm -hmm. which yeah. is uh, a real good thing. I mean, mm -hmm. even communities, you go in towns and communities are not even like this. This is, this is a tight-knit community and everybody helps everybody, which is, it's a real good thing. Mm -hmm. Like, it's one of the better things that I've seen in this country, people coming together and it's, it's beautiful. So Sundance that you leave tobacco as an offering, as a gift, and I wanted to leave some to this river so that it could be said that I'm with it even in this weird time, and this questionable time of what's going to happen. Um, I also left a little bit of dirt and sagebrush from Taos, New Mexico. Um, what I wanted to say there was that it doesn't matter if it's a river in North Dakota or the water in Taos, New Mexico, that this earth is my mother and I am just a manifestation of that body and I want to live to serve and protect her. land that probably never got paid anything for it. They didn't even get a penny. They're all past now. And this this will probably open some eyes, open some ears. These guys like a wounded knee when they try to eliminate everybody. Mankato, my grandfather's two brothers were hung over there. So all these years I've, I've been living with this. I was in the service for 22 years, seven different countries, fought every government except never thought I'd see the, do, the day when I'd have to go against my own government. Mm -hmm. 